Hello Cooks, today is Thursday, April 12, 2018. I'm your host Andrea Lopez and welcome to At UH News. As you may have seen earlier this week, Wolfest 2018 started Tuesday, April 10th and ended today, April 12th at the Butler Plaza. Wolfest is a fundraising event hosted by the Wolf Center for Entrepreneurship Students who compete with each other by starting pop-up food stands and selling some delicious and new food to raise money for scholarships. Our host, Chelsea Linares, was at Wolfest. Check it out. Countercurrent 18 began this Tuesday, April 10th from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. and ends this Sunday, April 15th. This is a free festival by the Mitchell Center where different types of art, audio, and visual installations, live performances, and events by artists from all around the world are presented. Not to mention they have new works by some of our UH faculty and students. To see the full schedule for this event and reserve your free tickets, visit www.countercurrentfestival.org. Also this Tuesday, SBB presented Battle of the Rhymes from 7 to 9 p.m. in the Student Center Legacy Lounge. Students got the opportunity to show off their rhymes in both rap and poetry. Another event that occurred this Tuesday was Bully the Musical, screening followed by a Q&A with the filmmakers afterwards. This film is about the events leading up to the suicide of Sam Bradley and the effects he had on the people around him, even his bullies. Field host Emanuela Aina was at this event. Let's take a look. 
Hi, this is Emanuela Aina with at UH News. We're here at the screening of Billy the Musical at the Student Center South Theater, following the life of a 14-year-old and his journey through bullying. Come with us. I wanted to see if it would be possible to take something that I would normally do as a musical and translate it into film so that it would have a broader audience, so it would have wider reach, so they can be picked up and uh, played on this college campus or college campuses around the country or theaters around the world, potentially. Well, thank you for being here this evening. Uh, for the screening of Dr. Aaron Long's musical Bully and the conversation afterward. Dr. Long's music has been performed around the world. He is currently professor and director of music at Lone Star College, University Park. To me, one of the points of the film, one of the important points, is that I think we do look for the scapegoat. We do look for the easy answer, the easy story, the quick news segment where we can blame somebody for this. And the truth is, these are big scale problems and there are things that we can all do. And the research suggests that one of the best things that we can do is we can train uh, young people to intervene and to be the, the right kind of bystander, essentially. But I think this is an issue we don't spend enough time talking about, and I think it's an issue that we think that by talking about, um, sort of similar to what the principal said, that we're going to lead to more cases. And I think quite the opposite is true. The more we talk about it, the more people feel comfortable coming forward and disclosing, maybe even seeking help. So I would encourage each of you um, to help us build that community, help us build a place where people can speak out and can say that they need help, can say that they need support. Um, I thought it was very inspirational. I feel like with what we've learned from the movie, we can go forward in being able to give a lot more coverage on people who are you know, thinking about thoughts of suicide, people who have friends that have gone through suicide. Um, I feel like it's not just the teachers and the staff, but I feel like it's also the students and the parents that could really take from this, and it um, could really generate a lot of topic of discussion for anybody at the dinner table, uh, within seminars, anything like that, um, just being able to get the word out. I thought it was fantastic. Definitely relevant, important things to talk about and not talked about enough, so it's great. I think the more we do to talk about it and the more we do to realize that we're not alone when we're struggling with this, these issues, the better it is for people to seek resources. The more that we can normalize that, the more that we can let people know that it's okay to seek help, it's okay to let someone know that you need help, the more we can prevent suicide, prevent bullying, prevent in issues from escalating. My hope is that it's going to start dialogues. I think it's really important for us to talk about these issues and only when we talk about it and really take them seriously do we have any chance of investing the kind of uh, care and resources and money that we need in order to actually make tangible changes, uh, realistic changes. So um, my hope is that by showing the film in different places, it'll start people talking about that. It will remind them that it's not just that 30 seconds that they see the story on the news, that this is a broader issue that we really need to take ownership of and see what we as individuals can do and collectively as a society to make changes. So if, as far as addressing bullying on campus or also related issues as far as queerness like we see in the film Bully, that's important for a campus like U of H because it's happening and that it's an issue that people know someone who has committed suicide or maybe they've thought about suicide before and it's not an issue that receives enough attention at college campuses or throughout everyday life. And so it's important to draw attention to those issues in a way. but but. To bring attention to them, to let to let people know that it's not a demonized issue or a stigmatized issue as it so often is. So we want to bring productive, positive attention and open conversations. I think it's important that we look at holistic approaches. So we want to think about what can we do to encourage individuals, but also to put structures in place to help people who need that help, to destigmatize getting the help, to make help readily accessible to those who seek it and to be better bystanders, uh, better friends, better uh, neighbors for people and trying to look for warning signs of suicide, look for warning signs of the precursors of suicide like social isolation, which can really be incredibly devastating. When we see those things, 
hopefully we can start to make action. We can reach out a hand in friendship or suggest resources or help people get to those resources to prevent things from progressing any further. I also think it's important to fund research into looking at what really works for preventing suicide, for uh, preventing bullying, for dealing with these sorts of problems on large scale social levels. The Blaffer Art Museum Student Association had their Red Blog Bash today, Thursday the 12th from 4 to 6 p.m. Students got to enjoy live performances and art making activities as a celebration of the arts featuring a dozen student organizations from across campus. Moving on to next week at UH, don't miss SBB's Bingo Night happening tomorrow, Friday, April 13th from 6 to 8 p.m. in the Student Center Ballroom. Students will have the opportunity to win some really cool raffle prizes. The School of Theater and Dance is presenting Rosencrantz and Gilda Cerner Dead. The show has been running since April 6th and will go on until April 15th. This show is about two characters from Shakespeare's Hamlet embarking on a quest to decipher the riddle of their own existence. It will be showing at the Wortham Theater. Tickets are $20 for general admission and $10 for students. Sunday, April 15th is the last showing, so get your tickets now. On Monday, April 16th, Holy Festival is also known as Festival of Colors, will take place from 4 to 7 p.m. at the Lynn Usen Park. The event is a collaboration between the Council for Cultural Activities, Indian Students Association, Graduate Indian Student Organization, Hindu Yuva, and the Student Programming Board. Lastly, for those of you who haven't seen it yet, next Tuesday, April 15th, SBB will be showing Stephen King's It at the Student Center Theater starting at 5.30 p.m. and moving on to the Haunted Woods of Lynn Houston Park at 8 p.m. There will be free popcorn, so don't miss out. That is all I have for you this week. For more news, go to kooktv.com. You can also follow us at kooktv on Facebook and YouTube for more news updates. Don't miss our weekly newscast every Thursday night. We hope you have a great week. From all of us here at Kook TV, I'm your host, Andrea Lopez. Your school, your story, at UH.